Good morning. Welcome to Crochet with Nana Rosanna. I'm Rosanna. And today is Whip Weekend number 50. And it's um, getting close to my one year anniversary. It's actually tomorrow. So this month I have my uh, one year anniversary on YouTube. I've reached a thousand and um, it's my birthday on the 29th. So um, I've got a small giveaway going on and I will uh, put the three sets of stitch markers somewhere up here. And if you go back to Whip Weekend number 48 and just leave a positive comment, you will be entered into the draw. And I will be drawing that on the 28th, probably mid-afternoon sometime, and then it'll be closed, and I will be putting up the winners on the 29th, on my birthday. So that's the first uh, set of business. Um, and if you have not sent in your pictures, I would love to share your crocheted items either for the book uh, cover, blanket, uh, crochet along, or any items you're working on. I will share it. And what I'll be doing is I'll be saving them up for the end of the month. And the last Saturday of the month, I will be doing like a show and tell of everybody's projects. So send in your pictures. I'd love to share them with everybody because I know we don't have that many people that we can share our items with and we get excited when we're completed uh, an item. So please send them in and I will definitely share them on the last uh, Saturday of each month. And um, I have to give a huge shout out to Keegan. Keegan is one of my bonus grandsons. Colin and I are blended family. So Keegan and Levi, and they're right here, are um, my bonus grandchildren. So we love them to death. And uh, these are when um, they received their amigurumis that I made a few weeks ago. Keegan is going to be turning eight next month. And... Um, He's one of my biggest fans. He wants to uh, be a YouTube creator when he grows up. And you know what? When that boy sends his mind to something, he will sure do it. So Keegan, early birthday, happy birthday. And I know you'll do it when you grow up and you'll be a fantastic YouTube uh, influencer. So big shout out to Keegan and Levi, his little brother. And um, a reminder, I'll be doing the final wrap-up of um, Zuri's um, selection book. And her book was To Kill a Mockingbird. And I will be doing that on Wednesday or Thursday next week. So we'll do a wrap-up of that. Okay, let's get on to our whips. My first whip is my um, cross-stitching that I'm doing. And I'll put a picture of the cross stitching there. And cross stitching is even slower than knitting, but I'm really enjoying it. I'm almost finished the one side of her. It's all, it's a stamped one and I really like it. And sometimes I've missed a few, so I had to go back in here and fill out a few. But I've just got a little bit more on this uh, right side to do and then I can start on the left side. So I'm really enjoying this. and. The colors are spectacular. I've got the eye done over here too, a little bit of it. So I'm really enjoying this cross stitch. There we go. See, I've got a little bit here to do and some of the uh, squares here, but it's such a cute little cross stitch. So that's my first whip. And my second non-yarny whip is my diamond painting, which I love doing in the mornings. And this is of our cat that we uh, rescued a few months ago. So that's it there. So I've done the whole top and I'm working down this side and then I have to do the remainder of that side. But um, I'm really pleased. It really captured her really well. So it um, is not that expensive. And I got this off of Amazon. So I will... Um, I can't, I'm not sure how to link it, but I will put the uh, company name down below if you want to get um, a diamond painting to uh, select your own picture and you just uh, send them your picture. And um, within a month it comes, because I believe it comes from China, but they're very quick. It's not a prime order and shipping was minimal, under $6. So I love doing that. And I have sent another one, another picture in of our cat that we had before this one. And this one's name is Phoenix, and our kitty cat before was named Tequila. 
So those are my non-yarny whips. And now for our yarny whips. Not got that much. I've been really working hard on my uh, my book blanket cover challenge. So the first thing I've been working on is the um, granny square sweater. So I believe I've got the first half done now. Oh, it's not the right way to do it, but that's it there. And I do have a mannequin which I, didn't, I forgot to bring down this morning, and I've named it Mandy, Mandy the Mannequin, and I'm going to be putting it on her the first side, and then I've started on the second side. So I'm hoping to get more of that done, but you always get requests from grandchildren, so those are what's uh, priority to me. I'm always... Uh, the bottom of the list but that's okay I love doing things for the grandkids and they are so appreciative and the next thing I got is um, I have done another dozen squares while I've been walking on the treadmill I've been very good and um, I didn't do it this morning or yesterday because I was sick earlier on in the week it, just a, a cold flu bug, but I was so congested. I couldn't breathe. I went through a whole box of Kleenex in one day. So I'm feeling better now. I can still feel it in my throat a little bit. And my nose is a little congested. So, um, <clears throat> excuse me, um, no exercise for two days and I'm missing it. I'm feeling, feeling guilty almost not doing because I really want to do it, but I just don't want to wear myself out. Uh, we are heading um, out for dinner uh, for my uh, son's birthday. It was his first weekend off, so um, we'll be doing that later on. So I didn't want to wear myself out. I want to have a good time with the kids tonight. So that uh, second whip and my squares, another whip. And I think I've almost got enough to make another uh, wheelchair lap again out of the uh, blocks of squares. And another whip is every week I, from Nan's Next Knots, and I will link her below. She has a... Um, a cowl going on where you pick a main color that uh, goes in between each color. So my main color was the Aaron from Red Heart. And um, you number your yarns one through eight and every week she draws another number and that's what goes into your blanket. So I'm almost finished. Um, we're on week nine I believe and um, goes to week 20. But what I've done is I've made it small enough to be a wheelchair lap gain. So once I finish this, I think one more week and this uh, first lap gain will be done. I will just change the um, main color and leave all my blues and purples the same and uh, do another uh, wheelchair lap gain. So this is the lap gain here. And amazingly enough, this time she has not doubled any numbers yet. So um, the last number was one, and it's uh, a purple tweed that I've got. So I've got both tweeds right next to each other, the navy blue tweed and the purple tweed. So I'm really enjoying it. It takes me less than half an hour to do my uh, six rows of crochet because you do the color that she picked, and then you start off with your... Uh, your main color again. So haven't woven in my ends for the last few weeks. I'll be doing that today probably. I've been weaving ends in from my uh, for my leaf blanket like you wouldn't believe. So that's what I've been working on a lot this week. And then I have I had one more request from my grand granddaughter. Here is the chart here, and I can't even um, tell you who the uh, who made this chart up or what channel it is because I can't understand it. I, it's Asian writing and I can't understand it. So I can't even tell you. I did get it off Pinterest. You know, I, I believe uh, Paige and I were just uh, flipping through Pinterest and she saw it and she really loved it. So she has asked for a pink and black blanket. So I've been working off my little chart here and I just uh, cross out uh, which one I'm on. It's a C to C blanket. And, sorry, hoping that I can get this out without too much of a mess. I've got all my yarns. I um, used a pound of love and I just caked it up to, uh, I believe, probably 50 gram balls. 
of all my colors, my two colors. This one has fallen apart, but that's okay. And this is how far I've gotten so far. Just get these yarns out. So that's the body, the main body, and then the cat tail working up on that side. So I'm working on this blanket here. And it's very, very simple because it's the only, you know, it's a two-tone. It's not like some of my uh, Afghans that I've made that has like 20, 30 colors in it. So uh, that's what I've been working on also. And I'm using... Oh, do I have the label? Yes, I do. I'm using Pound of Love. And the color is pastel pink. And it's, of course, not showing up. But it is a, it's a little bit brighter than that. But it's really pretty and really, really soft. I'm really surprised. I've got fluff, fiber fluff all over the place here. I'm really surprised how soft this is. But I couldn't find it in black. Michael's uh, last week had a... Um, 30% off all yarn, so that's what I did. So I'm using Phoenix Worsted. It's soft, but not as soft as um, the Pound of Love. And this color is just black. Yep, yeah, just black. So I've never used this before, and it's quite nice. It's working up really well. It is, well, like, once it's worked up, it is much stiffer than the uh, Pound of Love. But um, once it's washed up, it should be fine. So those are the blankets that I've got. I'm just going to leave that there on the table because it's very difficult to put them all away. And I've got one finished item. And this item, I have been following the cow. Uh, from Judy and Judy's channel is Judy's Creations in Crochet and I've been making shawls so I can donate them to the seniors home and you should go check out Judy's channel I call her the queen of shawls she makes the most stunning beautiful beautiful shawls and luxurious yarns that she uses um, I've really been enjoying her channel and um, I'm following along and um, it's a cow. You can make whatever you want. And what she does is she, at the beginning of uh, each month, she'll, uh, she's picked a flower for the month. And um, this is this month's flower here. And um, I thought, what a perfect opportunity to follow along and make shawls. So that's what I've been doing. So I made this shawl. And the colors are not turning out at all. I will insert some pictures here. It's a Carrie Penny. Uh, she doesn't call it a pattern, but I think I added in these, um, window rows and basically she just shows you how to make the shawl. And I really like this shawl because it's quite wide. It's, it's probably six feet wide. It's, I'm, I can't reach the end. I'm five foot eight. So, and, um, but it's not that deep. It doesn't go below your bum. So when this is on. It just covers your back completely. So I really like this style of shawl. And you can do whatever you want. She gives you the um, the formula. And then you can do whatever you want. So I think it turned out really great. I think it matches um, completely. Like when I follow something, I try and use every color in it and I follow it. So that's what I've been using. But like I said, the colors are more like the picture. And the yarns I used for this, the green is uh, a Bernat Super Value, and it's called Lush. And um, it's a little brighter than this. So that was the green. And the white, I just used um, one of my... Uh, already hanked up. I'm not sure what it is. It's softer than Red Heart, so I'm not sure, but it is just a white. And for the pale yellow, I used pale yellow. <laughs> for, it's a Red Heart. Oops, Red Heart. And then the brighter color yellow is a Craft Smart, and the color is Butter. It's a little darker, but I really like this color the butter color. And I'm really enjoying Michael's uh, yarn. It's inexpensive for my donations. And it's really nice and soft. 
and easy to work up. So those are the colors I used for the shawl. So I will be uh, sending uh, Judy a picture. I've probably already sent a picture by the time I do this. I'm not sure. Um, by the time it comes up. Whew, all the yarn fluff. So that's my week in crochet. Uh, like I said, I hadn't been feeling well and I've been working on my um, blanket, my leaf blanket for the book cover inspiration. And um, I think that's it. It's so funny. As soon as I finish, I turn it off. I remember something else, but I'll be on a lot this week. So just a little reminder, if you want to enter the giveaway, it's um, just a kind comment. Yeah, uh, at whip weekend number 48. So if you add your comment there and I will be drawing it sometime. Whoops. Sorry about that. Sometime on um, Wednesday. So if you can get it in before Wednesday, that's perfect. And um, thank you very much. I think that's it. I hope that's it. I hope you have a wonderful whip weekend. You can get all your whips done. I'm looking forward to going out with the kids tonight for my son's birthday. We're heading to a Greek restaurant in the town city right next to us, Burlington. And um, it's run by a Greek family. It's a loud, loud restaurant, but we have a great time when we're there. And the food is excellent. And always, always, you can uh, have leftovers and use them for lunch for the rest of the week because the portions are enormous. So that's what we're doing. And Sunday, we have no plans as of yet. I'm hoping um, I can just relax because I'll be tired and I'm still not feeling 100%. So have a wonderful whip weekend and I will see you soon next week. Bye for now.